Hey everybody, it's Wileen Benson and uh, back here for day four of our Lord's Way to Wealth 21 Day Challenge. And today um, I'm going to share some insight with you that hopefully will help you be able to understand maybe why you or why people in general tend to judge rich people. <laughs> we talked yesterday about um, questioning some of your beliefs, challenging some of your long-held beliefs that might be... Um, rooted in some of uh the you know very basic you know the very basic uh truth what we consider truth truth <laughs> that jesus was poor and that if you're going to be on the lord's way to wealth you have to be poor well i'm going to share something with you today that will even help you understand that even just a little bit more um wealth is a byproduct it's not something that you create. It's a byproduct of something that you do. Um, it's a byproduct of obedience to an alignment to the laws of wealth. Now, I'm going to create a distinction here. There are actually two ways to build wealth. There is the Lord's way and there is the world's way. And I'm not saying that there is a right way and a wrong way. I'm saying that there's two ways to build wealth, the Lord's way and the world's way. And you can't be on the world's way to wealth and build wealth on the Lord's way to wealth at the same time. You have to choose one way or the other. And uh, this is why for years, like decades, I, would, I was on the world's way because that was the only thing that I knew and I still always felt like I was living paycheck to paycheck and just didn't, and it felt like it was really hard. Like I was always kind of beating my head against the wall to, to try to get ahead. And it was because I was a, on the wrong path. Now, I said that there's not like a right and a wrong way. There are two ways to wealth and there are certain rules and laws that you have to obey if you're on those paths. The, the problem where we get into trouble is where we're on one of the paths and maybe it's someone who's on the Lord's way to wealth. You know, they've learned this and they're, you know, maybe it's some of you who are on in this 21 day challenge right now, you're on the Lord's way to wealth, but really your value system and what you believe and your core beliefs are out of alignment with those, uh, with that Lord's way. Vice versa, if you're on the world's way to wealth and you're asked you know, you're being asked because of the laws on that, that route, on that path, you're being asked to do something that is out of alignment with your values, then you're going to struggle. So God says, either be hot or cold, don't be lukewarm. And so if you're on the wrong path and you're trying to do things the way that they're done on the other path, then that, that's like being lukewarm. You're not hot or cold. So I was on the world's way to wealth when really I should have been on the Lord's way to wealth because my value system, everything aligned more truly to the Lord's way to wealth, but I didn't know about that. And so I'm just like getting lukewarm results. I'm not getting hot or cold results. So now that I found the Lord's way to wealth, this totally aligns with my value system. And so I'm just like going fast and just loving every minute. And it's not hard. It's like super easy. It just feels like I just, I finally found the square peg in the square hole. It just, it feels really, really awesome. So the problem and why we judge people is we, we judge them according to our own personal standards and our own personal values. So where I wasn't allowed to make money, wealth, um, you know, just barely getting by on the world's way to wealth, somebody else could get really rich on the world's way to wealth. And there's no, and the fact is that they are aligning with the rules on that path, which is totally 100% in alignment for them. And so there's no reason that I should even, you know, try to judge them as like you're doing it wrong because um, that is totally in alignment. They are hot or cold, just like God says, you know, don't be lukewarm, be hot or cold. Choose one path and be fully in alignment with it. So the world's way to wealth, there's definitely ways to earn money. And then the Lord's way to wealth, there's definitely ways to earn money, but they're two separate paths and you have to pick which path is in alignment with your values and your standards. So the facts are that they are just as much in alignment as I am 
and uh, they would never make it on the Lord's way to wealth because that would be out of alignment, and I would never make it on the world's way to wealth because that would be out of alignment. So the problem is that we only typically know the world's way. You know, I don't know of anybody that's teaching the same thing that I teach, the same things that I've received from my own divine tutoring about the Lord's way to wealth. I don't know anybody that's teaching that. So it's not something that was really available to us. So that's a problem if we don't even know that there is a path that is in alignment with our values and our standards. So the solution is, of course, to get on the right path. And uh, that is what you're doing with this 21 day challenge. So um, I'm going to be sending out an email to those who are registered and I'll put the registration link again today. Um, those who are registered, I'm gonna be sending out an email and your challenge is going to be how to, or, or just to take a moment and examine your motives and decide, am I on the Lord's way to wealth or am I on the world's way to wealth? Because whichever you decide is totally fine. You just need to make sure it's in alignment with who you are and uh, what your values and your standards are. Otherwise, you're going to be struggling. You'll be lukewarm. You're not going to get the results that God has for you if, uh, if you're out of alignment with the path that you're on. So thank you for joining me today and look forward to being back together uh, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time right here on the Lord's Way to Wealth Facebook group and Facebook Live. And I'll be sending that email out a little bit later today. Thank you.